Let me show you guys how I make barbecue bacon chicken bombs. <laughs> Stick around. The first thing we want to do to our chicken roll-ups here, I've got four boneless, skinless chicken thighs, okay? And so I bought some organic ones. They don't have nowhere near the muscle and fibers, everything is trimmed off. So anything that you see kind of hanging on, now I'm gonna take a little bit of this off here, right here, just because, and I save stuff like that for when I'm doing stir fries. But I really wanna get this thigh kind of just laid out, turn them over and kind of just assess them and break them apart here, make them a little more thin and consistent. And you can take and just roll this back, see? Like that right there, and I'm gonna use that in stir fry. Now you can keep it on there if you want, back to. Now you can kind of see that laid out there nice. And we're gonna take our, our mallet here and kind of beat down on it just a little bit, lay some plastic on top of it, just to kind of smash those down and get them a little more uniform. And we're gonna get our cream cheese and cheese mixed up, with a little bit of barbecue rub in it, and then roll these up and wrap them in bacon. Now that I've got my chicken all kind of just laid out uniform here and I've trimmed some of the, the hunks off of it and I've put all them up, I'm gonna take a plastic bag. You can lay these on the inside of this plastic bag if you want. I'm just gonna lay it down right on the outside though. I'm gonna use the smooth side here and I'm just gonna hit this just a little bit. Now, that'll work. Just flattening that out so it'll all be consistent. You can kinda of tell the high and low spots in that. Now, this is not necessary if you don't want to, it's just an extra step I take because I want to roll around that cream cheese as much as possible so it don't melt out. Now we've got a half a block of cream cheese over here. I'm gonna take and put in maybe close to a half a cup of cheese maybe. Maybe between a quarter and a half, maybe a third a cup. And I'm gonna set that to the side and I'm gonna get a little bit of my sweet barbecue rub here. This is my classic rub, the one I'd all started everything. Gonna kinda get a little bit in there, just for a little bit of flavor. Now I'm gonna take and get this mixed up and incorporated. Now once you get your cream cheese mixture folded in like this here, I'm gonna take it and I've got some jalapenos here that I've cut in half. I've de-seeded and everything. And now I'm gonna take a little bit of this cream cheese cheese mixture and just smear that in there. Now you want to be generous with this. Now, once you get all your cream cheese stuffed inside, I'm gonna take and lay it down just like this on my chicken. I'm gonna take every one and just do that. Just like that. Let's go ahead and get another little bit of that sweet rub down. Just a little light coat there to get some on that chicken. Got me a couple pieces of bacon here. Kind of stretch those out. Get them ready. Now, once you get your, your chicken roll up kind of like that, we're gonna take our bacon. I'm gonna go one piece around this thing to kind of hold the ends in, just like so. Gonna come back, kind of stretch our bacon. And go around it. Now, each piece is gonna take about three pieces of bacon. Take and roll that around just like so. And you got you a good old bacon bomb. Bacon chicken roll up bomb. Now I'm just gonna repeat the process till we get them all done. Now that we've got our chicken bacon bombs all rolled up and ready to go. I've got our chicken rub here and our sweet rub. So I'm gonna pick this up. I've washed my hands. I'm gonna go a little bit of chicken rub on this thing all the way around. Now once I get that chicken rub on there, on all of them, I'm gonna come back with a little bit of sweet rub on all of them. Now, let's repeat the process with a little bit of sweet rub. Now, once I get everything layered, I'm gonna set it on one of these racks that I have right here. I've already got this oiled and everything. Make it easy to handle the chicken bombs. All right, we've got them all seasoned up, ready to go. We're gonna get them on our Traeger at 350 degrees and let them go until the internal reaches about 170 degrees. 
So let's get going on them. And that bacon looks good. Right before we take them off about 15 or 20 minutes or so, we're gonna make up a quick barbecue glaze to go right over the top of them. That's gonna put them over the top. Let's get them on. All right, we've got our Traeger Ironwood XL fired up running at 350 degrees with roll oak charcoal pellets. We've got our chicken barbecue bacon cream cheese stuffed bombs going on the grill. Let's get the grill lid shut. I'm gonna set a timer for about 45 minutes. We'll see where they're at and get ready to glaze them after that. All right, our chicken bombs have been on 50 minutes now. I'm gonna get in here. Oh yeah, they are looking beautiful. Now I'm hitting one, oh yeah, 156. Oh yeah, 160, yeah. So I've got some of my sweet barbecue sauce here. I'm gonna take and get brushed on a set of glaze. All right, let's get this grill lid shut for another 15 or 20 minutes. We should be perfect on these chicken thighs. All right, our barbecue chicken bombs is finished. They've been on the grill about an hour and 10 to 15 minutes. They're hitting an internal temp of 167 to 170, depending on which one we do. So I've got me a plate here. Let's go ahead and get them picked up here and get them laid out. Now, pick using these tongs here and I'm going straight to the sink so my hands don't get dirty or burn up. All right, our chicken bacon roll-ups are off of the grill. And I can tell you they smell delicious, they look even better. I'm gonna recap here. I took four boneless chicken thighs, trimmed them up a little bit, discarded that and saved it when I do some stir fry, there's nothing wrong with it. I pounded out the chicken thighs to get them all kind of even, mixed up some cream cheese and regular cheddar cheese blend, a little bit of that sweet barbecue rub molded together in that pepper, wrapped it in the chicken and then seasoned it and wrapped the bacon, seasoned more. Let it go for about 50 minutes before we started glazing it with sauce. It cooked another 20 minutes. They turned out absolutely gorgeous. Let's cut into one so we can show you what it looks like and it's time to fix a plate and eat some dinner. Can you roll that back right there? Look at that. You get a little bit of the jalapeno, a little bit of that cheese, that moisture's in there. That's just what we're looking for. That's the perfect chicken barbecue roll up for dinner. Now, y'all know I gotta get in here. Let's cut a little piece of this off. Let's cut a some medallion out of that. So, there's only one thing left to do and that's get in here and try it. So let's try it. So good. Now one thing you can do if you're not a fan of fresh jalapenos and that raw heat that it brings, you can use pickled jalapenos, which is another great way you can marinate your chicken in it first. It's completely up to you. If you love what we're doing on our channel, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along with your friends. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, and of course, YouTube. I'll see you next week with another video.